slam it down. Do another one where you bang it really hard. Go on, go on, go on. Oh, <laughs> go on. That's not hard. Are you getting this or are you just getting... I've already poured it. <laughs> bang that in. Do it again. <laughs> Stop it! Are you getting this? I'm getting it. <laughs> oh, funny. Right, that's too close. I can't even do it. <laughs> right, ready? Have you got it? Go. Round it. Bang it. Bang it. It's not gonna work Dave. I'm melting. <laughs> right Dave, question. everything back where it belongs. Dave doing something. Well, now shut the thing. Just don't bang it on there please. Careful. If you smash that Dave, it'll be about 100 quid. Him. He's carried this wildlife book all around on the walk. We know then... what rooks and ravens are. Yeah, only because we asked a guy in the pub. <laughs> <laughs> Not because he opened the book, he just carried it round. No. <laughs> right. Yeah. Awake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. All the good times just begun. We know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy, but things are finally right With you and I, the future is Look at that. It's a bit random, isn't it? Don't you think? Hang on. A bit of a random clock. Yeah, but look, there's a little house. Two houses put together. And look, a little mini house too. Have you seen the wind thing? Where? Patron saint of uh, earth movers. JCB. <laughs> 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 <Jim Seabee. laughs> <laughs> That's funny. I can't even think. I don't think he's got it. Hang on. <laughs> there you go. Modern day. <laughs> this is the mortal man in, I don't even know where we are, somewhere in the Lake District. <laughs> we asked the lady, why is it called the mortal man? Apparently a giant used to roam up on the hills that you can see above here and that was immortal. And one day the giant fell and hit its head on the hearthstone of the fire here and died, thus making it mortal. Say again? Oh, because he was drunk. There you go. So that is the story of the mortal man. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> this is the first example of me using the Trolino composting toilet, but not as a toilet, as a seat. And the great thing is, is it slides around really easily, <clears throat> and it fits my bottom on. And it can obviously take a lot of weight. <laughs> <It's> so cheeky. <laughs> <laughs> We're at Troutbeck in the Lake District. We don't know where we're staying tonight, but we think that the pull in where the little owl was earlier, we could pull in there. But we think now that we've been for a walk, we're gonna have a coffee and find somewhere else. And then we can explore in the morning after our bacon butties. We have bacon butties and sausage and wine 
and a lady on the shitter. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. Could be one of oh them. yeah! And it'll make a different noise as the fuller it gets. Get your thing out, Dave! Oh, sugar, I'll put it out. Look at that, typical roof. Just gets on the boil and goes off. We are going to move eight minutes to another park up that's on park for night. It's on the top of a mountain um, and it's got amazing views. It is by a road, but apparently the road gets quiet at night. So the reason we're doing that is it's nice to wake up and think, oh, we've not explored this area and go and explore it. We've kind of explored this now. So um, there's a nice cream man there and there's a park up not far from here um, and lovely walks. It's just beautiful. The Lake District is gorgeous, especially when it's not raining. Or anyway, busy. or busy, yeah. Which it kind of isn't really, is it? It's not too bad. Anyway, so we're on our way. would be awesome if it was clear it's a little bit windy and we'd like to go for a walk really and we found another place that's right near the lake and sheltered by the trees so we might do that but let me just show you this properly so our next park <coughs> Our next park up is down a road called The Struggle. So Dave's going to film it in case it's a struggle. Look at this spot. park up, hang on, oh. and then there's toilets here. This is this is paid parking here, so I mean don't take the mick guys because they'll stick a do not park here. I knew we'd do something silly. <laughs> yeah. Right, so I've got, Dave says not to tell you because you'll <laughs> think we're weird, but I'm going to tell you. I was watching this thing on Instagram the other day, right? It was this guy who'd been diagnosed with some kind of melanoma or tumour or something. And instead of getting chemotherapy, he decided to try a month of immersing himself in... He called it forest bathing, which to me is a bit new agey. But basically he went in the forest for a full day every week. Now, uh, and then he says that, that this melanoma or whatever it's called... Um, disappeared so I thought yeah whatever but I went to the comments to kind of see how people taking the mic to be honest but in the comments it said where's my phone 
<laughs> it said there was someone there saying that the evidence for this chemical is actually real evidence. So I'm going to read you this when I find it. Hang on. So I googled this. So this phytoncides, P H Y T O N C I D E S, have antibacterial and antifungal qualities which help plants fight disease. When people breathe in these chemicals, our bodies respond by increasing the number and activity of a type of white blood cell called natural killer cells or NK. These cells kill tumour and virus infected cells in our bodies. So this chemical, apparently, trees release, usually evergreen and oak trees, I was Googling, and it, it's actually scientific. So we're not gonna go hugging trees, but Dave's not been well, so I said, we need to go in the woods and breathe in, you know, tree chemicals. And he's feeling better now, aren't you, Dave? There you go, tell me what you think in the comments. This will be an interesting one. <laughs> Hi, right, because I'm going to push you <laughs> off. <laughs> it's a shame, isn't it? No. That these places are so beautiful, but you can't come in the sunshine because yeah. it'd be full of people. It's a shame. The way you messed around with my hand. I've got a walking stick. Well, that's perfect. I don't need a walking stick. I'm younger than you, Dave. <laughs> We think we're heading to Grasmere along the river. That's what it said. See if we can find another pub <laughs> to frequent now that we've parked up. And if not, we'll just walk back. I'm not sure we should do this bit in the dark, Dave. I feel like I'll break my neck. Right. It's proper cobbly. I'm not trusting you when you say, oh, you'll be right. He ain't got a clue really, has he? One thing I know is you can't oh, trust Dave. Mummy, mummy, where's daddy? Where's daddy gone? Mummy, 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 no, it's all too much. Ah! Reckon a taste of sketch. Look at this. This is awesome, isn't it? A bit. How nice would this place be in the summertime if no one was here? Oh. Imagine in COVID, if you lived here, how beautiful it would have been with no one here.
the weather is grim but it is the Lake District even if you come in the heights of summer it is going to rain here it rains all the time that's what makes it beautiful I guess it's like Scotland um, but that's okay we've had a lovely walk a couple of walks today and we're now gonna get some tea on. Oh. Don't forget to open your door when you push your pop top up. It makes it easier. Okay, um, so today we are having some chicken, half just one breast between us, um, some vegetables, some noodles with this um, sweet chilli sauce. Right. Cheers. Chin chin. Chin chin. story of our lives <laughs> thinking back to the army wet cold miserable <laughs> damp <laughs> excuse me we didn't even sleep too well last night for some reason so this park up's right next to the road so until the road quietens down it's quite noisy and then you've got the waterfall which is lovely but it's constant. just <laughs> like the weather app says it's supposed to be sunny and it has just constantly rained so we had a cosy night, didn't we, after yeah. our walks? We are used to this. It, it, we are British. We are from Manchester, so it always rains there. Um, but, it, yeah, it's just grim. So we decided that instead of moaning, we're going to go to a waterfall this morning because... That'll be in a picture. That'll be thing. where the most of the water is and it will look good. So, um, yeah, so well, that's where we're going. And it's called... Just chatting to a lady next to us who's just got absolutely soaked. She went for a walk with the dogs. This is why we don't have dogs. <laughs> We're going to Aero Force High Force Car Park. Look how bad it is. Everywhere's just flooded. So two minutes after we've just spoken to you, we've now pulled into Grasmere deciding let's get a coffee, but we're not going to pay for parking. However, we have found somewhere where the parking money goes towards the local school. So we think that's okay, that's don't we? Because we're like, yeah, that's fine. Do you know what? I love the camper van because we had a plan to go to the waterfall, which we will do. But I love the fact that you don't have to go wherever you're planning. You just pull in, you've got everything you need with you, and then go to the next adventure. I love just not having a plan. It, and now I feel all excited because we're going to get a coffee and then we're going to go to the waterfall. Even though it's raining, it's just so exciting. Just get out there, guys, in your van. On your feet, on your feet. Right, go, you pay. I'll get the coffees. <laughs> So it seems that the reason I recognise Aeroforce is because I've been here with Ruby. <laughs> well, I thought I thought that was Yorkshire that I took her to, and that's where we found it. Anyway, I don't remember these places. 
Every day is a new day when you get older because you just forget. <laughs> anyway, Dave's not been here and I didn't have a drone last time, so uh, I'm going to show you again in case you're a new viewer and you didn't see the last video, which I'll link up here somewhere. <laughs> Oh, we're back at the van. Um, oh, we've decided we're just going to stop here for a bit and uh, relax, aren't we, Dave? We are. We're going to read, listen to our books. Audible. Audible, if you'd like to sponsor me, I'd be up for that. I like Audible. Anyway, we're not big <laughs> enough yet, but worth asking. Um, yeah. Cup of tea, of course. What's your tea? If you want to sponsor me, yeah, win win. Yes. <laughs> sponsor. Oh, the driving camper van, you're fine. You're always home, aren't you? We'll go to all corners of Yorkshire and advertise for you. Yes. Whilst drinking your heavenly tea. Heavenly ale of the gods. We decided that because we've no kids and we're just sleeping tonight somewhere, the mattress from the top and the duvet, we've just shoved it in the back. And it fits, as long as we don't open the back door. If we have no need to open the back door, we're fine. Um, so yeah, this has come in really handy for a table, obviously a toilet, and we were gonna empty it, but it's only half full, even though we've done one it's night, two of us, and my bladder's useless. Yeah, not one night, two of us. One night, one, night, one of us, one. one morning, one week. I feel like Dave, to protect it, is gonna <laughs> varnish it. Because I feel like I don't want it getting... It's already getting a bit put, mucky, isn't it? You should put a sticker on it or something. Oh, yeah, that's an out. idea. It could be... I could Paint use it. it as a sticker thing. You could right, with all my different stickers. Yeah. That's a good I idea. Do it before I varnish it, though. Oh, I know. Maybe varnish it, and then I'll add stickers, add and then we'll varnish, varnish it again. It. Yeah, add we might do that. Yeah. Varnish. Before yeah. you know it, it'll be up here. <laughs> Look at this. Evidence Dave's washing up. The wind. Evidence Dave's washing up. <laughs> Tell you what, if she turns this camera on only, only when she's doing something. When I'm doing something, she turns it off and just like mocks me. Because <laughs> they do all the ironing and everything in here. But do you believe Dave? Absolutely. <laughs> hmm. Look at that for a view. Piffle and poppycock. <laughs> is to anyone interested, while we're stopped, my laptop is running out of charge and my inverter can't cope with it I'm gonna have it changed actually the inverter because it needs to be a synergy inverter or something synergy to be able to cope with the laptop so I've got my little portable all powers thing which is brilliant because it's so small so this is great if you've got a kid in the pop top who just needs power I can just stick it kind of on one of these and they can use it and um, but for now I'm just using it to charge my um, my laptop which is in there if you can see there we go I've just done a cup of tea I've done a pot of tea so we can have more than one and I think we're just gonna have a read to be honest let's just relax for a bit and bacon butties with a view we're on a slant so the kettle's holding the door open. I don't 
don't know if you can see, but even though it's wet, it's absolutely stunning. I mean, it really is. Oh, it's just beautiful. You can see the waterfalls coming down in between the mountains from wherever you are. I mean, it really is. And all of the rivers are overflowed. The lakes have burst, the burst their banks. It's just, it's awesome. I'm glad I'm in a cozy camper van. Wow. The valleys just look. It looks awesome and it's not too busy because it's so wet. We just come through Windermere and everywhere we go it's just so flooded. But it is quite magnificent. I'm not sure I'd want to live in. <laughs> but the power of nature, wow. So we've moved our parking spot because we only had one bar on the internet and we're trying to download a film. So we're allowing it to buff. Anyway, for tea we are having bang bang rice, uh, a couple of um, onion bhajis, some of these um, flatbreads and some chicken. I'm going to just do it all in the SQ grill. So that should be nice. We're feeling a bit more relaxed now, aren't wild we? We're garlic. a bit. Oh, Dave's going to get some wild garlic. To just. Uh, it's a nice little spot, this. But there's not great internet. Which is fine. It's just that we want to watch a film. So. Good morning. Good morning. We didn't have a good night's sleep again, did we, Dave? Not at all. And we don't know why. My wife, she's so demanding. <laughs> we have no idea why. And then we thought, well, that's okay. We'll go for a nice walk today and then looked outside. At the Sunny Lake District. We're not going to see much if we go for a walk. So the first port of call is, I've got sausages, but I've got no buns. So we're going to go and buy buns, aren't we? Mm -hmm. And then we can have a sausage butty. <laughs> but yeah, no idea why, very strange. Anyway, good morning. <laughs> and um, <clears throat> the saying is, if you're in the Lake District and you say, oh, it rained, everybody says, well, it is the lakes. So I think there should be a t-shirt that says, well, it is the lakes. <clears throat> What do you think, Dave? <laughs> I do. We decided against buying the buns and went to a nearby cafe and then went to look at the local museum, which had a very interesting exhibit. Herdwitz Cafe. Uh, very expensive, I'll warn you now. There's a cafe across the road that's but a no, lot cheaper, um, but it's really small and it was heaving when we came. Yeah, it's very nice, but very expensive. And dog friendly. And very dog friendly. They've the even one, got it? like sheepskin rugs for the dogs to lie on, which is very cute if you like yeah. your dogs. Uh, anyway, we saw something. <coughs> oh, we'll show you when we get there. Hang on.
beastly tell me about this that I've just displayed? The bluebird. Who's what? Blue what about, tell me about it. So those just, that don't know. Yeah, it was brought up from the bottom of the lake. A while Coniston. Ago. Yeah. With, yeah. Um, and fully restored, and here it is. And he and reached. He who's the guy? Uh, Donald Campbell. And what did he? What speed did it reach before he died? Three hundred and ten mile an hour oh. before it flipped. Oof. It At least it, it would have been an instant death. Look at it. There's, there's a picture of it flipping. Yeah, and flying it out. Yeah, yeah look. Two seven six three three. Well, that was really good, and we've had a really nice weekend. But I really wish the weather had been better. I think that the Lake District is stunning, and it's even been stunning with all the rain because of the waterfalls and just looking at the scenery. But it's a bit of a gutter because you're just damp all the time. Um, and that's a real shame because I really like today, I wanted to go for another hike, but the mist is just so bad. We won't see anything anyway. So, so we're probably going to head home. So I don't know what this video is going to be like. I've not edited it yet, obviously. Um, I hope you found it interesting and, um, come to the Lake District but maybe I say check the weather it did say it was going to be dry and it's just rain so come prepared for rain I think is probably the safest thing to say and um, we're very lucky we're only two hours from home so um, hopefully we'll have a good good trip back and then back to it to a working week um, so um, thumbs up if you've enjoyed the video and leave a comments below where would you go and visit in the Lake District uh, where's a beautiful place to go um, you know share in the comments for other people and myself because uh, you know I'll definitely be coming back here um, and if you go to the lakes be prepared for rain uh, until next time goodbye thanks for watching <laughs> here's the unsung hero of the hour my chauffeur maid cook <laughs> cook and general dog's body <laughs> oh, you're getting to, hurt. she deserves you medals <laughs> <laughs> Well, you wouldn't believe it. We've had a lovely time up in the lakes with the water and all that. And now, just so that we don't feel like we're missing anything, look what's come with us. <laughs> the water. Look at the sky, that blue sky. Kids have said that they've had sunshine and it's been beautiful. They're lying. And look at it. <clears throat> uh, yeah, sorry. Mm. Anyway, we're having coffees. We are. Oh, I did. I did make a mental note of where we are, and I've forgotten. Troutbeck. Who? Troutbeck. We're at Troutbeck. Are you actually getting me or not? You just spoiled all of that. <laughs> we're at all of my work and Sorry. effort and footage. One, two, three. Start again. One, two, three. Back in the room. <laughs> Uh, we just took the drone up and uh, I took it as high as I could to go above the trees to get a shot going over and the wind just decided to take it the other direction. So I capped myself and pressed return to home and it came back so woo! <laughs> it's a bit excitement for the day. Anyway, stick with the camera footage now.